Jim Lindsay uh, at the time of registration asked if there's any way for three levels of government to work together to build more affordable housing. Now I know that kind of falls outside of your jurisdiction, but I'll let you go ahead with that, Kyle. So I, I've always been a believer in uh, three level government partnerships on things like this, especially with affordable housing. I've never been a fan of the federal government dictating what projects should be built and where. I think these are absolutely things that municipal government should come up with the plans. They know their communities better. They know the needs. They should come up with uh, the affordable housing needs, and then they should be applying to uh, the federal government and the provincial government, and all three should come together to fund these uh, affordable housing initiatives. That's, that's a program that I think works and one that we should be supporting. 100% at the federal level. Mayor Brown? Yeah, um, last year I had an opportunity to travel to Ottawa and I, I took part in the National Housing Conference there. And what I learned was uh, CMHC, the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, which, which for those of you who bought a house with less than 20% down payment, you know you have to pay mortgage insurance. Well, that money has been accumulating for decades now, and they're sitting on quite a war chest of billions of dollars. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not doing a lot of real estate right now, but I'm a realtor, and I can't think of the last time I heard about a foreclosure. So, you know, the, the, this money is just sitting there. So the, the federal government's housing plan was to reallocate some of that money into um, uh, low uh, interest rate uh, lendings to organizations such as municipalities to build more affordable housing. So that's one way that the federal government has uh, helped in that way. And uh, I have spoken to the local CMHC rep who uh, looks at those programs. Uh, we do have some town land and I can tell you, we, we are seriously looking at those type of things. It's, um, it's a little bit outside of a municipality in, in the sense that, uh, you know, our upper tier municipality looks after social housing, but we as a municipality can, can do that. And uh, um, there was a model in, uh, in Whistler, uh, British Columbia, where they couldn't afford uh, to provide accommodation for the people working at hotels and restaurants. So they put together what's called the Whistler Housing Authority and they actually built apartment buildings with, with off market rents. They controlled the rent and it was geared to income. And I, I think it was a good model and uh, I'm, I'm sure they, they got some both provincial and federal assistance, but uh, Google Whistler Housing Authority and look what they've done. It's quite amazing. So uh, maybe we can do something like that in our area as well. Yeah, I think there's lots of opportunities for partnerships, whether that's with Habitat for Humanity, uh, or I know um, when I used to be, live in Brampton, they had a number of very successful co-ops that had received money through CMHC, and the co-ops were uh, rent geared to income. So you had people who were paying uh, market rent, you had people who were paying less than market rent, all living in the same community. And that kind of uh, mixed use to me is the best kind of affordable housing as opposed to sort of one large affordable housing project. Uh, so I think there's lots of creative ways for the government to look at this and CMHC I think could play a huge role because they certainly have a lot of money. Right. Even, even um, they were talking about 50 year amortization periods which makes the affordability and the, the rent paid to, to be uh, very manageable if you can. Absolutely. And the, uh, financing over that period of time. For sure.